This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar covering audio techniques inside Apple Final Cut Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Audio is a huge part of any project, but far too often we ignore the sound to concentrate on the picture. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to work with double system sound, which is where we record the audio on one device and the picture on another. Here's an example of a double system, and I'm wearing a lavalier, but I'm also recording the audio on the camera mic. If we listen to the audio on the camera mic here, here's what it sounds like. We'll start with the clapper slate. The reason we record double system sound is that we want to have the highest possible audio with the highest possible picture quality, and sometimes that requires using two different devices. Okay, now let's listen to the audio by itself. Again, we'll pick it up with the clap. The reason we record double system sound is that we want to have the highest possible audio with the highest possible picture quality, and sometimes that requires using two different devices. Hear how the audio that's recorded using the lavalier, which is not recorded to the camera, is much tighter, much more present, much richer. The camera mic is much more boomy, spacious, and maybe you want that sound, but many times you want to have tight audio for the dialogue, and then you add the sound effect and the presence to boominess later in post. But it would be nice if I could marry these two together, a process called synchronization. There's several ways that we can do that, but the easiest, especially for Final Cut, and especially if you're using a slate, is to take the video clip and find the position where the clapper comes down. Notice it's blurry, it's still moving. Find the first frame where that is not blurry and set a marker right there. Then do the exact same thing, set a marker where you hear the clap in the audio. Then select both clips. This has to be done in a browser. It can't be done in the timeline. With both clips selected, go up to the clip menu and synchronize clips. Notice that it gives us a name, so we'll just call this Synced Clip. You can call it Fred, as far as I'm concerned. It tells where it's going to be stored. Use audio for synchronization. I'm going to say no this first time, and use the custom settings instead. I want to synchronize on timecode, but that only exists if you're working with broadcast wave called B-Wave Audio, because no other audio format has timecode. The date it's created is okay. The problem is it's not very accurate. Start of the first clip assumes they all start at the same time. I almost, in fact, I've never in real life used these. I've used them in training. I use first marker on the clip. What this does is it looks for the first marker on both clips as the sync point, and when I choose that, watch how quickly it syncs. In three, two, one, woof, and it's synced. Virtually instantaneous. The other option that we have is to select both clips here, and this time go up to clip and synchronize. And if I synchronize on audio, it listens to the audio in both clips and figures out where that audio matches. The good news is this works, especially if you don't have a clapper slate. The bad news is it takes a while, depending upon the speed of your computer and the duration of the clip. It could take up to a minute or two. If you can set markers, it's much faster and as accurate as if Final Cut syncs on audio. But if you don't have clapper slates and don't have timecode, synchronize on the audio. Watch this in three, two, one, go. In this case, this is a short 10 second clip, but I'm on a fast system, but it has taken multiple minutes to synchronize very long clips. Once the clip is there, you edit it to the timeline. There it is. If we double click this, notice that we see the soundtrack, but we don't see the different components. If I go up to clip and say expand audio components, now we see the audio from the camera and we see the audio from the microphone. And now when we play this, we can see the reason we record double system sound is that we want to have the highest possible audio with the highest possible picture quality, and sometimes that requires using two different devices, one to record audio and one to record video, which is what I'm doing here. Perfect sync and perfect audio. 
Double system is used frequently and Final Cut handles it perfectly. This was an excerpt from a recent power-up webinar covering audio techniques in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 350. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.